fielded by a short man on the 14-yard line. And that's McAfee breaking free, has a seam, and a crease. The kicker can't trip him up. Headed for the end zone. Will it be back-to-back -back weeks? Yes! A week ago, it was the Wisconsin Badgers. Tonight, it is the Missouri Tigers. 86 yards for a touchdown. They were behind. They've tied it after a turnover. And now they're threatening to go ahead. Intercepted. A horrendous screen. Holden Smith has got it. And he's got speed. Somebody's got Jones, but from behind, he is run down by Kitty Stills. Attack. And they run it in for the touchdown with Devin Moore, the junior from St. Louis. Second down and 10. Sets a screen, and there's no one with Madu on that side. Fumble! Missouri jumps on it, I believe. Brent, look at, look at the defensive tackle on the inside. Marvin Cross for a freshman. He's on a stunt. He sees the play. He actually gets there and causes Madu to come back into the inside with the rest of the defense. They feature out at Oregon with the running back and the quarterback. Here they spread the field. Fire complete. Breaks out as Jackson. Touchdown. Missouri regains the lead. And another number one in deep trouble. 38 yards for the go-ahead score. The textbook on how not to tackle. Watch Jonathan Nelson, number three, coming in. Goes for the knockout punch. Doesn't bring his arms with him to wrap up Jackson. They are trying to shut it down right now. Here, Oklahoma, the number one team, needing a drive, and it's picked off. Intercepted. I think he predetermined where he wanted to go with his football. And how about Smith getting a hand on the ball and deflected? But Gooden focused, does a good job in coverage, is able to come up with a pivotal, a pivotal interception for this Missouri defense. Which checks in as the running back. Gabbert fires. There's the hook and ladder. And here comes Lawrence down the side, dives for the end zone. Touchdown. How about that? Agnew. This is what you call playing to win. David Yost, the offensive coordinator, unbelievable call, and they have stepped out of bounds. We'll have to take another look at that, but what a call. Well, to get the ball back to one of your skilled people, Lawrence, who's got speed. That, but now to James Franklin. He can run it out of it. Here's their formation. Here he comes, and he is stopped as he keeps on running for the end zone. Arms aren't up yet. There's a touchdown signal by the line judge. That is freshman James Franklin. With nine seconds to go, the headset's still on. Pete Carroll would have thrown it up into the stands. DeMarco Murray cuts to daylight, tripped up. Still running, tries to get wide, and there he laterals it off. Gets Broyles. Broyles comes back the other way, but it's not going to matter. The student. I mean, it's just gigantic. It's, not, it's uh, been a long time coming. Oklahoma's a great team, and we're fortunate to pull our team at halftime. This is a battle. I mean, you're playing a great team that wins, and uh, it's not easy. And uh, so I'm, I'm just real proud of our football team, and this is great for our fans, Missouri fans, and Columbia and the state of Missouri, too. Well, Blaine, there was a nice moment here when your head coach came over. What did he say to you? Uh, it's an instrumental win for this program, and we've worked hard for this, and all we had to do was believe.